welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, but I finally was able to finish this jacket that I've been working on. And the video is a little bit all over the place, but I'll do my best to explain what's happening as it goes. So let's hop right into it. I hope you enjoy and let's go. Okay, to start off the jacket, I just got all my scrap material that looked good together and just cut a bunch of small squares, about five by five inches, and cut them out all about the same size. They're not perfect, but didn't really matter. That was okay. And I just cut out as many as I could make with all the fabric. The next step that I did was lay out all of the squares into a pattern that I thought looked good. Then I sewed together the rows and ironed, ironed down the little seams so that it would laid flat. And then once I sewed together the rows, as you can see here, I then sewed together the longer rows to make it all one giant piece of fabric. I wanted this final piece of fabric to lay nice and flat, so here I am again sewing down those seams from the rows that I just sewed together so that the whole piece would lie flat and look nice and not be bunched up where all of my seams were sewn. Next, I just got a jacket that I like the fit of that I already owned and I laid out a bunch of paper over my fabric and taped it together and I'm just gonna trace the body of this jacket onto the paper so that I can make a type of pattern so that way I don't mess up all the work I just did making this one piece of fabric. As I cut out around the pattern, I always leave a little bit of extra fabric just to make sure I don't make it too small or, you know, just to give a little wiggle room. You can always take fabric away, but you can, it's hard, a lot harder to add it back on. As you can see now, I'm cutting my pattern in half. So the first piece that I cut out was for the back of the jacket, and now I'm gonna be cutting out the two front parts of the jacket. And I'm just gonna leave that extra fabric in between those, just to give a little extra room for buttons or whatever I end up adding to hold the front pieces together. I decided to just use an old dress that I haven't worn in a long time and cut that up for the interior fabric of the jacket. At this point, I realized that the fabric, the two pieces together, just weren't quite stable enough, or at least for my liking. So I grabbed some fleece and laid that under, and I just made that an in-between layer just to give a little, little more structure to the fabric. So that way when I stuff it, it won't warp the material. It'll, it'll hold a little better. Here I'm just trying to show you, I'm going to sew sideways along these lines on the edges of the squares just to make some little pockets for the microfiber fill. Okay, here's what it looks like. I just stitched across here. You can barely even see the stitch, which is perfect. And then on the other side, it just stitched together all three layers. Mm, I got a little bunched, but that's okay. So then I'm going to do the rows down and then I'm going to stuff the centers with the polyfill. So let's continue to do that. Okay, here's what we have so far. It's just all pinned together. I haven't sewn it. But um, as you saw, I sewed along all of these lines here 
and I just put some stuffing inside each of these pockets. So as you can see, it's a bit stuffed. Um, and then I just tried it on to see if it was too stuffed or not enough and I fixed it accordingly. So now we're working on the sleeves over here and I have the rows sewn together, but now we just have to sew the rows together and we're gonna test out, see if this is enough. I might need to add an extra squares to make it a little bigger, but we're gonna see that once I finish sewing these together. And then we'll work on the other sleeve and I'll let you guys see how that's going. Here I'm just sewing closed all the little open pockets that I just stuffed the polyfill that I was showing you. I'm just sewing this closed so that way the polyfill stays as is and doesn't come out as I'm working on other things. It's going to stretch It sounds on the road Turn as it can With his trail cold Into purple strangers In disguise Here are the sleeves with all three layers of fabric I decided not to stuff the sleeves with any polyfill Just because the fabric made them quite thick And that was just my preference Crazy world Yeah Okay, so I finished this one sleeve. It's not sewn together at all. I just have it pinned along the side and I just have it pinned to the body. But it's looking good so far. I tried it on. Everything fits great. Um, we just gotta finish up the other one, the neck, and then do the finishing touches and add lining and things like that to make all the edges look nice. This is my little snack. Snack of the afternoon. Okay guys, this is coming together super well. I still don't have anything sewn together. The sleeves are all pinned and I just made a random tube out of the same size squares. I just sewed, I just folded them in half and made a giant tube out of five of them and sewed the bottom of the tubing together, stuffed it with the same stuffing and pinned it onto the neck. So it's just pinned right now, it's not sewn. So now we just gotta really sew it all together and then do the finishing touches and then we'll be done. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's inside out, just so you can see all the seams. And you can see that I have it all pinned together and nothing's sewn together yet. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna first sew the sleeve just around here, sew it onto the jacket, and then I'm gonna sew down the sleeve to close that up. And then once I do that, then I'll sew down the side and I'll just do the same thing over here on the other side as well, sew everything down. And I'm gonna cover these seams once I finish sewing them, create a bias tape to sew over the top. So that way you can't see all these layers. It'll just look a little nicer, a little more professional. And then once I finish putting the sleeves and sides together, I will sew this puffy neck on right here and do the same bias tape trick with that. And I'll show you as I go. If you back again. Okay, so right now I'm gonna try to make a little bit of my own really thick bias tape for the edging of the jacket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this in like this, but all the way down and like this so that they meet in the middle and then iron these down. And then when I sew it onto the jacket, it's gonna be folded like this and then sewn down to the edge of the jacket. And Kind of like that. Might be a little confusing right now, but I'll show you as I do it so it's a little more understandable. Okay, so just to show you a little better, this is the bias type tape stuff that I'm making. As you can see, I'm just folding it in half over that over the edge just so it covers all those layers and just makes it look a lot nicer and cleaner. So I'm just gonna pin this all the way up and then I'm gonna sew it down just right on the edge here to sew it on.
Right here, I'm just measuring out elastic for the wrists because I want them to be a little cinched, kind of as you can see there on the waistband. Just cinched in a little bit. Before. Okay, and here's what I ended up with. There are things that I would change, you know, things that I would do differently, but I really like how it turned out. I think it's cute. Um, I probably in the future will add more buttons than it has there, just to fill in the big gaps in between each one. And on the inside, I haven't added in the lining on those seams right there. I still need to do that, but for now it's wearable, it's cute, and it's very comfy and I love it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.